Hello and welcome to r slash dank memes from site 19. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the very first meme, which is... Hey, check out it's Edward James almost. One of the surest ways to get your meme featured on my channel is to have a... <laughs> Have one of my articles be the subject of the meme, apparently. Every time I see one, I'm like, nope, gotta include that. Hey, check out how hard I can invert. <laughs> Wasn't funny the first time. That's one of the SCP, that's, yeah, that's one of the SCPs I wrote on video. You can actually find it on this uh, channel. I wrote the whole thing with a screen capture recorder running and then sped it up times about four times and put it on here. I think it only took me about an hour to write. All based around... <laughs> Stupid pun. Edward James almost. No one. Marshall Carter Dark. Do you want to see the most illegal thing I own? That does sound like something Marshall Carter Dark would say. Or at least this employee would be like, hey, well, you know how drugs are super illegal? What if we had magical drugs? MTF Alpha 9 and. Uh, yeah. Yes, they're absolutely identical. MTF Alpha 9 and MTF Omega 7. I mean, yeah, one is supposed to be a continuation of the other. I think Omega-7 died, and then uh, Alpha-9 was the supposed continuation of it. That's, uh, that's, that's the whole point. As he makes an overlook to the situation at all, me, unsuspecting relatives. I don't talk to my relatives too much about SCP stuff. My dad uh, does watch some of my videos from time to time. Uh, and has looked at, you know, he knows that I'm a writer and all these other things, and uh, he always wants to know how I'm, if I'm making any money off of it, which is an interesting perspective on the idea of reading for Creative Commons website. But, uh, yeah, SCP facts not relevant to the situation at all. Me, unsuspecting relatives. Tell everyone about SCPs, but only tell them about mine. Sister, while being an SCP also. Brother being an SCP, wanting to die. Dr. Bright, immortality. Ah, poor Dr. Bright, I guess. Everyone feels sorry for Dr. Bright, but I mean, come on. Immortality's awesome. Let's not pretend, like, just because Dr. Bright doesn't want it, it's not awesome. Wiki readers, wow, wow I'm glad Cognito Hazards don't exist in the real world, lol. Rounder house, the rounder page is not as bad as everyone makes it out to be. You should check it out. It's it's not that bad. Look, uh, look up on the SCP Wiki, I believe it's called the rounder page. It's uh it's pretty interesting. You definitely definitely won't regret it. SCP claims I am the cure beats patient to death with shoe. SCP in question escapes. Not until Fox perplexed. <laughs> uh, that's a funny joke, I tell you what, right there, that's a funny joke. Twenty three ones. <laughs> I see you up there with the time. Site nineteen and twenty three one seven. Uh huh. More cactus references. Create an art installation to promote awareness of the toll we have on our planet. Reveal it in the middle of Alaska in, a group, in front of a group of fellow activists. It starts deteriorating anything made by humans and kills them as well, including us. It starts to de Yeah, what was the point of this whole thing? Sacrifice? Hey, let's take out all the people who actually care enough to do something about the environment. Uh, there's this uh, group... Um, I started playing EVE Online again a little bit recently, and uh, th there's like a terrorist group in it that's sort of minor, but I think they're called Equilibrium of Mankind, and their whole purpose is the belief that humanity is the problem and needs to be eliminated. I'm like, well, if you think that, start with yourself. But really, <laughs> you, you go straight to it, you're like, mm, just, just, yeah, I guess if that's what you think, shouldn't you start with yourself? Let's Let's not be hypocrites here. Oh, uh, I think the title for this one was uh, The Old Man Invades the Nether. But uh, I saw it, I saw the title, and the first thing I thought was, that's not the old man invading the nether. That's his home. Pay attention. Humanity. Destroyed. Dr. Bright, about to steal SCP-076's body and create an alliance with 682, then using the alliance to get to SCP-2000 to restart reality. Now, watch and learn. Also, doing so while fighting the uh, old AI and Pesterbot. So, yeah. Again, an article I well, a, a tale I wrote. Just because it's a plague doctor doesn't mean it's SCP-049. That's a fact. See, I was uh, I saw this and it reminded me of the first like I was playing uh, Darkest Dungeon. It's always about a video game. I was playing a dark. I was playing Darkest Dungeon and they have a plague doctor character. It's also uh, a female character actually, but. 
their plague doctor character I, I was reading i was you know whatever it's in a dark setting and everything like that and i figured it wasn't related until i look at their skills and one of their camping skills is called the cure it's possible that it's still unrelated but that seems pretty questionable to me just saying a detailed explanation of what scps are me some guys <laughs> i don't do this yeah i don't talk to people like that's not like a beginning topic of conversation usually when people are like what do you do then i might be able to go into a little bit of detail but i don't just bring it up myself like come on use a little bit of uh understand social cues people the serpent's hand <laughs> we believe without the veil the world would be safer in the public the foundation i hate the public the public is stupid i you know I, I i've seen that as an argument would the world be safer without the veil i mean the veil keeps and then, then again, like, what does the Foundation think is going to happen if they go out there and let people know that anomalies exist? You know what I think? The Foundation would be more realistic if instead of trying to prevent all uh, human knowledge of anomalies, they were just trying to slowly acclimate the public to the idea. Because they, they do believe that there's a problem, the culture shock and all these other things. Like, is God real? Yeah, he's over there and he's in a box. Is sort of a problem. But, like, if you slowly acclimate the public to this, I could see that being a better argument than the Foundation's stated goal, which is to just completely and totally have separation for now and for always. <laughs> to survive in the wild, you need a reliable source of water. The SCP Foundation will never get a true movie. <laughs> I this one has had a long trip to get here because the guy who the guy who suggested that I put it in here uh what was that he uh paid for discord nitro for me and I, which was great and everything but I was like okay yeah and then he showed me the meme and I was like this is good because I can talk about you know I got it's a good topic like why the SCP foundation will never get a true movie with a CC license and maybe I'll actually talk about that in a second but then, on the last video I did, I forgot to include it, and the guy posted in the comments of the video and of the post announcing it, going, I gave Mary Nitro on Discord and boosted his server, so he's going to include my meme in the next video. And I was like, okay, that's strange. <laughs> But this is a good, it's, I like the, I like these particular types of memes because they give me something to talk about. It's very, you know, sometimes they're just funny. Sometimes I just laugh. But the idea of the SCP Foundation never getting a true movie is true because, like, with the Creative Commons license as it is, and I talked about this in one of, the, one of my previous videos on the Creative Commons license, uh, no studio is going to invest, like, movies are investments. They've, always sort of been investments but now more than ever they're literally investments like banker style investments and nobody is going to throw money at a movie when they are literally precluded from protecting it from piracy <laughs> like anyone can take your movie and reproduce it yeah probably not going to work out too well P when people make movies they want exclusive rights to your content they can't <laughs> take something where they only have partial rights to your content so yeah problem this is why the scp foundation will never get a true movie now the easiest way around that is to be like <laughs> just make up something that's very close that uses most of the same concepts but different names change it just enough just a skosh that you can say it's yours me breaks into allison eckhart so i can steal allison eckhart's allison eckhart's allison eckhart now, this is actually a very good allison eckhart I think if at any point you Allison Eckarts want to create more Allison Eckarts about Allison Eckart, you should do so. <laughs> CP049, did you lay this egg? <laughs> yes, it happened. Oh, that tail is never going away. Yeah, man. Dr. Brighton, the list of things he ain't allowed to do. Dr. Brighton, most other tales. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Dr. Samarian, <laughs> someone breathes. <laughs> you're not just wrong, you're stupid. Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, that's me. SCP writers with years of experience. Can't you do something without your superiority complex? The 10-year-old with a 14 with a minus 14 points on his article. But I am superior. Yeah. You know how often you run into this problem where somebody... I mean, the sheer lack of self-awareness that some people have... I think this is true of everybody. I think I've, I've run into this myself personally. But the sheer lack of self-awareness that a person can have is stunning. Like, 
watch someone put a three sentence description up and wonder and be like, the only reason this is getting downloaded is because I'm a new author trying something new. <laughs> Or some bullshit. Or like, everyone knows who I am and they've got a bad idea. You know, nobody, it, it doesn't spark in their head that maybe it's their writing. Maybe they're just bad at what they're doing. Can just give, like, just think about that for a second. Maybe you're just not good enough. Maybe you should try harder. Or maybe you should work on it. No, no, no. It's the world that's crazy. It's... <laughs> SCP 8900X, the SCP Foundation. I believe this is the article about color being like an anomalous thing that suddenly comes into effect and everyone just assumed it was always real. You know, which reminded me of uh, a thought when I was like five. I want to say I was like five. Uh, but I, you know, you'd watch old movies that were in black and white and you'd watch new movies that were in color. I remember watching The Wizard of Oz, which is both. It's got a black and white section and a color section. And I, honest to God, thought, because of the way they talked about it in the movies, you watch these older movies that had color, and they'd be like, with Technicolor. And I'd be like, did they invent color? Did it... And not not just for the movies, but in the world. <laughs> did, some, did some guy somewhere just invent color, and then we had it, and it was everything was black and white before that? Uh which, it's funny that someone turned essentially that into an SCP uh, article. It's just <laughs> giving you a critique. You know what's interesting about this is I'm not Rick in this situation. I'm definitely Morty. Because <laughs> uh, it's the kind of thing that it's like, it, it's fun. It's fun in, in, in a, like a, a roundabout sense, but then also, God, like, it's just like, oh, really? MTL finds a deep boy. <laughs> Anyway, it started blasting. This is true of the uh, SCP Containment Reach. I think this may even be true of uh, uh, Secret Laboratory when they do the multiplayer. Anytime they just find D-Class instead of being like, you're apprehended or anything like that. Nope, they just start on the murder. <laughs> Which, again, it happens in the uh, SCP Containment Reach. And it's so weird to me that the MTF is just like, ah, a D-Class. <laughs> Which I think goes back to the... Uh, to the old style beliefs that the MT that the D class are entirely disposable and not and not valuable employees, which anyway, <laughs> I started blasting. That's it. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, scroll down and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And I'm saying this to everyone but the person who left an incredibly harsh comment, which I, I thoroughly enjoyed saying that they hate the notification bell and that they what was the exact wording here. I you are not some you're not the weather service. I don't need a notification every time you upload a new video. Well, uh, the point is, is some people don't consume their YouTube content in the sort of critical news sense. They just want to know when a new video comes out. So everyone else but that guy, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Not you, angry person who <laughs> only apparently watches YouTube videos for news and occasionally SCP content. <laughs> Uh, and if you really liked it, head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian. I believe this is my first video of the month, so this is the very first time I've gotten a chance to ask. It's a very good time. Pledging at the beginning of the month means you get the whole month of benefits. That includes uh, reviews for your articles, help in your authoring, depending on your levels, or your name on the screen, like everyone here you already see. Thank you very much for watching and letting me know that I'm not alone out here. I'll see you all again on Thursday.